And finding parking by the beach isn't easy, but it can be even harder if you're disabled and the only elevator in the only city garage is broken mm. for months and months. Well, one disabled veteran contacted two on your side after he says the city of Hermosa Beach wasn't responsive to his complaints about the out of order elevator. CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us now with more. Christine? Pat and Rick, we have results to report tonight, but before we get to that, let's get to the problem. It is a big one. This elevator has been out of service since last summer. So two on your side went out last week to take a look and we found out that it's an inconvenience for more than people than just this disabled vet. You see this, the sign that says yes. out of order. Roe Brichester is a disabled army veteran who needs a cane to get around. He also needs an elevator. He says he can't use stairs at all. So when he came to this metered city parking garage in Hermosa Beach last year, he was stuck. And when we pulled up here, it was out of order. I figured maybe it's just for uh, maintenance purposes. Two months later, he says he came back and the elevator was still broken. With all the revenue that they get from this parking structure, where's that revenue going? You must pay $125 for each hour you park here. Frustrated, Richester called City Hall. I talked to the council member probably, I want to say about three months ago. So at that point, nothing was done. So he called two on your side. Maybe they'll, they'll move on it now. We came to the garage on a Friday morning and it was full. Just as Richester told us, the elevator was still down. We saw people like Pat Bavaro, who has a bad back, struggling to get up the steps. Her partner drove down from the third floor to pick her up so she didn't have to go another flight. If uh, any of the politicians here had family or themselves, that were limited and needed an elevator, it would have gotten done. We also saw parents with little kids cautiously going up and down the stairs and moms with strollers walking from floor to floor. So I parked all the way on the top because I thought there was an elevator. <laughs> and what did you think when you saw that it wasn't working? I was like, great, I'm going to have to walk all the way down there. Two on your side reached out to Hermosa Beach City leaders, and we were told that the elevator has been out of service for nearly a year, but that it's undergoing extensive repairs that were delayed by rain. We were at the garage on a sunny day, but didn't see anyone working on it. Just this morning, the city assured to on your side that the elevator repairs will be done this week and that there is an inspection now scheduled for Thursday. They say the elevator will reopen shortly after that. We will, of course, keep on top of this to see if the timeline stays on track. Now, I did speak with an expert at Loyola Law School, an expert on the ADA, the American Disabilities Act, and he says one year to fix an elevator is far too long to have something out of service. And the ADA, I spoke with the spokesperson there as well, and they said if you have of something that goes beyond a reasonable amount of time. So obviously a year would not be reasonable. You need to make other accommodations. So the city's also telling me that until the elevator is fixed, they're going to put extra disabled parking spots on the ground floor. Boy, look at that. That was a big help. Yeah, yeah. so now these folks can go to the beach and they don't have to worry about yeah. not having access or having to struggle up those steps. All right, thanks for shining that nice spotlight. Yeah. Thank you. Well, can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at two on your side at cbs.com with your problem or on Twitter, use the hashtag two on your side and we'll see what we can do to solve your problem.